Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you round eight of Virginia Regionals. On our left, we have Stefan DeShazo returning to table one. And on our right, we have Steven Varesco. Um, so both these players are seminal right now. You know, this is table one. So what we're going to see who ends up being undefeated going into the final round and who ends up being eight and one or seven and one. Um, so, Steven is playing a Dark Rye Hammer deck, uh, you know, Moss Rye, uh, that's been somewhat popular, popularized by, uh, uh, Matt Moss w winning that, uh, city championship back at the Chicago Marathon. You know, it's, it's a pretty strong deck, you know, just hammers, really consistent hammers, Sableye, Dark Rye, one new two. You know, uh, really consistent. Whereas Stephen or um, Stefan is, um, he's running like last round, uh, Electric Mewtwo Tornadus. So this is going to be a pretty interesting matchup. I think it's a matchup in Stephen's favor. You know, um, Dark Rise, just that extra spread damage. I'm not really sure if. Uh, Stefan runs any like max potion super scoop ups or anything like that so you know without those cards um dark ride just kind of goes wild plus with double colorless you know uh generally enhance hammer is not very good versus electric however that's only speaking against the rayquaza version so enhance hammer could come in huge um and we'll see how this goes. Uh, Steven does draw a uh, Mulligan card. And all right, so let's see who gets to go first. And it is, uh, who's gonna draw that card? Who's gonna draw that card? Um, it looks like uh, Stefan is going first. So we do see a Mewtwo start. Uh, has a Tynum on the bench. Um, Whereas Steven draws, you know, his ideal Sableye start. Uh, he does ult, so Stefan does Ultra Ball away at uh, A plus power. So, you know, it's really important that uh, Steven did drop the extra basic. You know, there, there is always, you know, at this point, everyone kind of knows what everyone at the top tables is running. So at this point, you know, you kind of know that, hey, uh, I could be looking at a turn one knockout. Now, Stefan uses a catcher here and just to get the extra card off Bianca and I'm not sure I like that too much you know um, catchers are really important cards and when you kind of use them like this uh, it can get dangerous really quickly I mean like sure it, it does increase the amount of cards Steven needs to uh, you know get that turn one junk hunt However, at the cost of a catcher, maybe worth it, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's really questionable. Um, and he discards a Spurtagem, and that's going to be uh, pretty a pretty big card to discard. You know, um, Tornadus EX, great card. Uh, goes to 190 with a Spurta, and like with Dark Claw, that's you you can't do perfect math with Dark Claw. The one nice thing that. Uh, uh, Dark Rye has in this matchup is Dark Claw. It, it makes the math work out really nicely. Uh, so we do see a second catcher, and this is like a huge, uh, almost like a big disadvantage for uh, Stefan. You know, he's used two catchers in one turn. Uh, you never really want to see that. So we do see a Crushing Hammer, and uh, looks like it's a heads. So that crushing hammer taking out the DCE, uh, big flip for uh, Steven. And you know, even though like big flip, right? Uh, that's it, it's still okay. You know, um, he does have that junk hunt ability or attack, which will let him get back the crushing hammer. If we do see another DCE come down, it will knock out Sableye, but the crushing hammer will still be there for another DCE or lightning energy or whatever it really needs to go after. So we do see an energy search, and that's a really nice card uh, to be playing in Dark Rye. You know, it gets you. It works so well with Junk Hunt, and it thins out your deck, so you know you won't draw that energy card next turn. You know, you might draw something else. Um, 
So we also see a catcher in his hand. I don't know if he wants to play that, but yeah, it looks like he's just junipering here. Uh, nice choice. You know, get those dark energies in the discard. So when you draw your dark patch like he just did, like Steven just did, uh, you'll be in great shape. So he's going to want a dark patch here, get that extra energy on the field. And then maybe he just goes junk hunt. Um, maybe go for the dark patch and a, uh, huh, maybe... It, it doesn't look like he has an energy card in his hand, so he might want to go for the energy search. Um, he could go after the catcher. That would be a nice card, too. Uh, it really depends on what he feels like would be the best option. He drops down the Dark Claw. He kind of, he knows that Dark Claw is really the most important car, the most important tool in this matchup, so that's going to be a big deal. Uh, and he drops the other Dark Ride. He's just like, hey, if you have an N, um, I'm ready for it. I know what I need for this matchup, so I know the only way I can really be at a disadvantage at this matchup is if you bench me. So this is going to be what I do. Yeah, so he ends up getting the Energy Surge and the Dark Patch, and that's going to allow a turn to Night Spear. However, you know, he did predict the end, the possibility of end, and he played around it, so, you know, no big loss. Uh, you know, Steven was like, hey, you know, N could come down. I know what I need to do. Uh, so I'll just play down the second Dark Ride because this matchup, like, ah, I don't really see Steven losing this matchup, as particular because unless he runs out of Dark Ride, you know, this matchup is kind of iffy if, say, Stefan ran Rayquaza. However, we've seen the DCE, we know that's not the issue. And, you know, your Dark Rides are going to get two-shotted, for the most part. And at that point, uh, a two-shotting two a Dark Ride is not strong. Uh, not not as strong as you need it to be. So that's going to be huge. He might even get a free hit at this Mewtwo. You know, get that turn two Night Spear. He does have it in his hand. So this is going to be huge. And he also knows that Stefan is down two catchers. So, um, yeah, it looks like everything is going right for Steven here. You know, um, he gets, he still has his turn to Night Spear. He, his hand's reloaded. Uh, his opponent doesn't really have energy on the field. Yeah, there's, I don't even think the Sableye is going to go down. Yep, and it doesn't, he just passes. So, uh, Steven in great shape here. So he attaches an energy, has the Dark Patch for the Night Spear, and he might even energy switch the energy onto the other Dark Rai after he retreats the Sableye. You know, uh, don't want to lose that energy for nothing. And yep, there it goes. And at this point, he's going to be hitting that Mewtwo for 110 and 30 to the Tynamo. Great choices here. Uh, putting the 110 is really important on that Mewtwo. So what that does, it makes it so it only takes two bench damage on Night Spears against the Mewtwo to knock it out. And... As long as Stefan doesn't play healing cards, then that Mewtwo is not long for this world. Uh, you know, we're going to see, like, a catcher on an electric, and then the Mewtwo get hit. And then we're going to see a catcher on another electric, and the Mewtwo gets hit. And that's four prizes in, uh, with two knockout, with two uh, catchers. So that's going to be huge. And at that point... You know, not only have you devastated Stefan's board, you've also taken four prizes. However, Stefan could go with, it looks like he's going with the option of attacking with Tornadoes here. And that's perfectly okay uh, for Stefan. You know, he has the uh, Enhanced Hammer still, so even if we see a Power Blast, no problem. He has a uh, Crushing Hammer. He might just force the Tornadoes to retreat. And this what this also does... Is Tornadus also has 170 HP. So now what he's going to be able to do is go, Hey, I am going to hit your Tornadus for 110. And then I'm going to hit your Mewtwo for 30. So then your Mewtwo is going to be at uh, 140. Your Tornadus is going to be at 110. And then I'm just going to Night Spear you again for four prizes. And that'll be great. Uh, can't really get much better than that. Looks like Steven's hand is kind of not doing too much, but uh, he does have an energy for the turn, so uh, could be 
can could be okay. He's gonna retreat here, so he doesn't want to lose that dark rye right right away, which is good. Um, I like this play. You know, he has the energy switch. He can't really his hands kind of dead right now. He he really just needs to stay alive with his board and keep attacking. He's gonna be taking two prizes next turn, so possibly even four. But he opts to go after the electric. Interesting. Um. I'm not sure on that route, you know. Then again, his deck is awfully big. So like if he takes if he just takes four prizes and then he runs the risk of just getting end out of the game. And you don't really want that. So, you know, um not too bad. I like how he's setting up damage here. Uh that Mewtwo is always going to be there for a knockout. And it also lets him, you know, maybe take three prizes this turn, uh catch her up a electric, take another prize. And then put 30 on that damage Mewtwo, and then, hey, I'm at I've taken four prizes, and you're taking an inevitable loss unless you run healing. So uh, Stefan plays the end here. Um, he must be very. That must have been like his only supporter because, um, you know, you saw Steven really not do much. All he did was just play an energy card, play energy switch, and then attack with his fresh dark guy. Uh, so he's really reloading Steven's hand here, and um, yeah, so Steven's gonna have a you know a new a new look on life at this point, and you know you're sitting pretty here. You know he can't really one shot you ever, and you're just gonna night spear him out of the game at some point. So as long as Steven can build up a third dark cry. I really don't see him losing this game. I know the prizes are at six and six. However, just board presence and just matchup alone, uh, Darkrai is such a big favorite versus non uh, Rayquaza builds of this deck. So we are seeing to see a power blast here, and let's see if he gets heads. And yes, he does. So he gets to keep that energy. Not a big deal though. You know, he's just gonna get Night Spirit again and. Uh, can Steven get out another Dark Rye? And the answer is yes. Yes, he can. And let's see how he can deal with this. So he plays an end, looking for some more energy. He really needs to uh, get that third Dark Rye powered up online. Uh, doesn't really. He could. I don't know if Stefan runs any Ry Raikus. <coughs> um, but, uh. Yeah, so let's see if he can get some energy. Uh, that's the really big thing he needs right here. He does get a crushing hammer, which is pretty nice. You know, you might want to play that on that Mewtwo. Uh, let's see if he can get the heads, and nope, no heads. But we do see an Ultra Ball, some catchers. Um, it's a pretty interesting turn. However, you can just take two prizes here. Yep, so he goes for the three prize turn, takes half his prizes. Uh, Lugia EX kind of just dreams about that in the next format, but, uh, you know, we get to see it in, in the reg city regionals format, too, so that's awesome, you know, it's always cool, it's always a cool feeling drawing three prizes, and, however, uh, he is facing imminent doom with his, that Mewtwo staring him down, um, but he does have a catcher. Uh, as long as he gets an energy to attach to the active to the bench damage dark rye, and as long as he can power up a night spear not for next turn but the turn after with the other dark rye, we know Steven has a catcher as long as N doesn't hit the field. Uh, Steven's going to be in great shape. Uh, all it takes is you know catcher the electric thirty uh, knock it out thirty damage to a Mewtwo. And then your win is guaranteed. Uh, you can't really get knocked out. We do see a Zekrom EX. Uh, that's always a cool card. It does 150. Um, you know, if it, I think it's really more for the Blastoise matchup. Uh, it's a really nice card. You know, you you Blastoise tends to like only like to build one Blastoise, so they you just drop a Zekrom out of nowhere, uh, catch a Blastoise, and then just knock him out. But we'll see how that works out here. We do see a Dark Patch. Uh, so maybe he might have been holding some Dark Patches last turn, but you know he just couldn't play them uh, just because he just didn't have the energies. So we're going to... He does have a Crushing Hammer. 
and let's see how this works out. Gets the heads, knocks the D DCE out of the field. Uh, so that's three double colorlesses down for Stefan. You know, the first one on the Mewtwo, the second one on the Tornadus, and now a third one. Two crushing hammers have taken, or DCEs have fallen to two crushing hammers. So that's a pretty big deal. Uh, we do see a catcher and an N. Uh, he doesn't. He really doesn't want to play that Mewtwo down. That's a that could be the card that brings him back into the game. But he catches up the damaged Mewtwo. Interesting. So he might just be going. Well, I'm just going to take my prize, maybe. I'm going to end here, see what happens. Uh, and we'll just see what I can get off this end. Really, that's really what it looks like it's coming down to. Uh, he only... I don't know how much lightning energy he has in this card. I know he has the one from Tornadus, but I'm not sure... I don't think he has that much else. Uh, so he's really been energy light. Uh, we do see a uh, Juniper coming out of him, out of Steven, and he draws a bunch of energy. Uh, if he can, yeah, so this is where I would have liked the, um, well, it's okay here. I guess it's okay. You might want to just power up a Dark Rye, but it looks like he's just going to go for the attack. Uh, he can take two prizes here, as long as he can just Night Spear next turn. He does have another Catcher in his hand. So by taking two prizes, as long as you avoid the N, um, you're going to be in good shape here. He, so he, uh, Stefan sends up the Zekrami X, kind of indicating, hey, I have a switch. Uh, I'm just going to Mewtwo you really hard. But he has to do... Um, he has to do a bunch of damage. Maybe four energies? Yeah, it looks like four energy. No, no, no. How much? That's a six. He did a power. That uh, dark ride got power blasted. That should be a knockout, right? Yeah, there it is. <coughs> so, um, we do see a dark patch on the stable eye. Looks like we have an energy switch, energy for the turn, catcher, and that's game. So, yep. Steven Varesco goes eight and zero oh at uh, Virginia Regionals with the Moss Rydak. Uh Yeah, so congratulations, Steven, and we'll see you guys in round nine.